What up? I'm Chet Papelka. This is the Brave Sound Vlog. Well, the first day of the draft has came and gone, and I think we nailed it. I think that the Braves had a great first day. I haven't heard any theories otherwise. Got Kyle Wright, right-handed pitcher from Vanderbilt, Andrew Waters, and a high school outfielder from somewhere that I've never heard of in Georgia. Ultimately, my prediction, my assessment was what the Braves ended up going through with, which is that most people were saying it's a four-person draft. Uh, and so the Braves have the fifth pick. If someone else slips up and takes someone else, then they should take that person that gets to them. That's what they did. That person was Kyle Wright because Minnesota took Royce Lewis. I get it to an extent why Minnesota will want Royce Lewis because Minnesota doesn't have a great farm system and they really needed to nail the pick. Uh, and everyone else was a pitcher. It was a little risky. So they wanted to get the most likely person to work out and turn into a good major leaguer, which, yes, that is Royce Lewis. I was really scared we were going to get Royce Lewis. Not that I think he's a bad player, it's just that like we have so many. To me, he seemed like a perfect combination of Dansby Swanson and Ozzie Albies, and we already have both of those guys. Why would I want Royce Lewis? I regress. Kyle Wright and Austin Beck seem to be the top two guys that were on their board. They wanted Austin Beck. Uh, I heard a report that they offered Austin Beck uh, to try and get him to um, save them some money so that they could have more to get a player later. Austin Beck wasn't really having it, and you can see why, because he knew he was going to get the number six pick, so why would he sign an underslot deal if he can get the actual money that he's going to get with the six pick? So it seems to have worked out for all parties, uh, especially since we got Drew Waters, who's not even that far off from Austin Beck in the first place. So when you get a college pitcher, it's a little risky, it's a little alarming. You know, Mark Appel, or that was weird. Kyle Wright, he's clearly very, he's tall. Uh, he's projectable, and he's very developed, and he has a three-pitch mix already, and he's working on a fourth. He's Everything looks good. Now, again, that's something that we've said about a lot of pitchers before, like Mark Appel. Um, you know, and it happens. You know, That's where the thing, and I, I kind of been feeling like this, is that it seems, based on every, everything that everyone's saying about Kyle Wright, is that the only thing that can really keep him from being great major leaguer is injuries. Uh, and that's not necessarily true. Uh, because, again, there are people like Mark Appel that just, it doesn't work out, even though they were clearly really developed. But, at the same time, you know, there's also Garrett Cole. There's also Max Scherzer. You know, they were the same guy when they came out of college. Last year, I remember I really argued against taking the pitchers, and I was really upset when they did. I got over it. Uh, one thing that I don't like that I've heard said a little bit is more people kind of saying, like, we have enough pitchers, let's get some hitters. Couple things on that. One, no we don't. What are you talking about? We have enough pitchers. Are you, are you watching this team? We don't have enough pitchers. What are you talking about? Yes, our farm system may be loaded up. It may be the most pitching rich farm system of all time. We don't have enough pitchers. That's absurd. Second of all, that presumes that we're a bat weak farm system, which I just don't think is accurate. I don't think that that's a fair thing to say at all. Think about our farm system. Uh, in terms of the bats, let's say that you delete all of the pitchers in our farm system. Let's say tomorrow the Braves cut every pitcher in their top 30 prospects. Our farm system would still have Ozzie Albies, Kevin Maiton, Ronald Acuna, Travis Demerit, Austin Riley, Drew Waters, Alex Jackson. I think that's about it. Still, a lot of teams would kill for that farm system of just the hitters that we have in our farm system. It's not a bat-weak farm system at all. But I will admit... It's a pitching-centered farm system. You look at our farm system right now, I see three, at minimum, ace-caliber pitchers, which is Colby Allard, Ian Anderson, and Kyle Wright. Interestingly, those are our top first-round pick each of the last three years. Coincidence? A lot of teams, when they go on a long run of extended contention... You can look back to a few years of draft picks in around the same place, and you say this built the core of their team. Uh, for example, when uh, Tampa Bay got B.J. Upton, Evan Longoria, David Price, or when Kansas City got Mike Moustakis, Eric Hosmer, and Alex Gordon right all around the same area in different years. Uh, the Astros uh, got Carlos Correa, Alex Bregman, uh, George Springer, and then, what's his name, that other guy as well, with the fifth pick that year behind Alex Bregman. Years from now, when the Braves are in the middle of some dynastic run, people will look back on John Coppolello's early years and he'll say, oh, Colby Allard, Ian Anderson, Kyle Wright, this is where the team was built. 
I think right now is a great time to just feel thankful for how good the Braves are at building a farm system. You know there are teams that this is actually hard for them. There are teams that, like, literally struggle in order to build up a farm system. Look how long Cincinnati's been working at it. Look how long Philadelphia's been working at it. They're not good at it. The Braves are amazing at it. So now what I kind of ask you guys is we've just had a very good wrench thrown in our farm system. Where does Kyle Wright rank in it? What's your new top five now that Kyle Wright is here? Or Drew Waters, if you want. You know, but reshape your top five now that Kyle Wright's in the mix with everybody else. Let me know what you guys think. I really hope you guys are enjoying watching the draft right now. Uh, I'm Chef Apelka. This is Braves Time Blog. It's a channel where I talk about the Braves, talk about baseball in general. I uh, really hope you enjoyed, and go Braves!